Welcome to season six of the Trini Takeover Show. Today on the show, we're going to meet Claire. She feels old before her time. I would describe my style as quite unchanged for the last sort of 20, 25 years. She's traveled the globe for eight years. She's led an incredibly independent, fantastic life. And she came back to the UK during COVID to be close to her family and to be with her mother who has Alzheimer's. But Claire is feeling lost. She's living in Surrey and she's finding it really challenging to re-acclimatize from one life to another. So what we want to do is to help Claire today to get how people perceive her on the outside meeting how she feels on the inside and to take away that fearfulness and to turn it into fearlessness. Let's meet Claire. Are you nervous that there's an expectation you have that I could fix everything and you're scared it might not. You know what I mean? Hey, That's so what would you most want from today? Um, to uh, look the best I can and feel the most confident that I can um, in myself. I think it's a, it's a turning point a bit in my life. I, reached, I was 55 last October and obviously my children are, are leaving home to go to university. And we recently returned from living overseas and I want to embrace this next phase of my life, like go full throttled, you know, like not with any regret or, or looking back thinking that the best yeah. bit's over. Yeah. So refreshing for me that somebody can be candid immediately yeah. and say it how it is, because then I know exactly what's going on inside you and it makes it so much easier for me to then navigate how we're going to get to this place of utter fearlessness. Yeah, I mean, I've done lots of brave things in my life. Um, I think they take a lot out of you being brave. I think when I sent my two children to university in this country and we were living overseas, I found that very, uh, it took a lot yeah. for me, out of me. Yeah. And sometimes I worry, Trini, now, have I used up all my brave brave? That's such an interesting thing to say because I've never heard somebody say that before. I have to say, and I have met thousands of women and the fact of what you've done in your life and how much bravery you've needed, it takes a lot of bravery to make a decision to send your kids away from you to go to school or university or to make that decision that for their sake, it's the right decision to do. Yeah. That takes a lot of bravery from any mother. Then have I used up all my bravery? Wow, that's such a, that's such a big thing to say. Yeah, that really moved me, I have to say. So you've got a lot on, but today it is all about you. You've got five minutes to find two things. First one is, what do you think is trending on TikTok right now? I'm not even sure what TikTok is, to be honest. What would you love to wear that you think you're too petite to wear? You've got five minutes, so okay. off you go. Right. Okay. All right, thanks. So, I think this is cool. Now, the thing is, when you have grey hair, can you wear grey? So maybe something like that would be trending on TikTok. And does that work and is it sexy? Maybe I'm a bit too old for it. Can she do it? So this would be way too long for me. When you're petite, wearing oversized can be challenging. All these things are too young for me. You know why I love that so much? Because it's, it's, it's like, it's just at the back. Oh no, it's cropped, so maybe I wouldn't. It's amazing. I love it so much. Not really sure why I've got this jacket now. That's for me. <coughs> These are like baggy jeans. I'm feeling I'm going to get the scissors out here. I wouldn't wear it. I think we've got enough, so now let's go and dress Claire. This one I thought would probably be quite trendy. So that's trendy, wise. Because it was at the front of the store. £349 for Zara. So that is like the trendiest thing in the store, I think. Oh, Fantastic. Right, okay. Yeah, I mean, you I've got never... it. So this is too is much like... flesh. Too much flesh. Because for my size and age, I would say too much flesh. Do you think you can't do that anymore? Definitely not. Right. Even though you say nothing suits. I found interesting that she thinks she can't wear a sleeveless dress anymore and that she feels she doesn't like anything which shows off her figure too much. So she always, I think, volumizes her shape. All right, look number one. How do you feel? Horrendous. Why? I think it makes me look bulky here, shapeless, this. I mean, ordinarily I wouldn't even leave the changing room dressed like this. Are you nervous to show your Waist? I don't never think I've got much for waist. Actually. Well, and then then don't totally hide it. Oversized, whatever. Don't do it up. No, don't do it up. You're having it cool. You're you're a cool chick. Now the hair at the moment is classic. Oh, there's so much we can do here. What do you see in the mirror that makes you keep wanting to do that? Uh, cover cover up a bit. I think I think I look really awful in this outfit. I feel like I look like a brick, like rectangular. Legs can we just like, out. Look, we're going to start walking. What do you think? 
I think I love it because it has more of happening stuff. Yeah. yeah. It just looks absolutely stunning. Where are you from, darling? Um, I'm from Merseyside originally. See, they're honest women, Merseysiders. <laughs> this is about the voice inside our head whenever we put an outfit on and what it will automatically say to us. What I want to challenge you on, Claire, is when you look in the mirror, you literally went, look at this, I don't have a waist, I don't have this, the length is wrong, I feel that, it's like, you put yourself down in All right then, I'm gonna try. And I, it's not, this is not being at school, this is you becoming comfortable and actually perhaps falling in love with the woman you are. Okay. So should we go to a safer place? Yes, please. Quite nice. Oh, ho, ho. Normally I wouldn't choose something like that. Yeah. For my broad shoulders. When you're older, broad shoulders are the biggest asset because they give you the structure of like always wearing a jacket and we need that structure. So this is like navy, wrong shape. You're very broad shoulders now because also yeah. your shoulder ends there. Yeah. You know, if it was that, yeah. like that, actually quite cool on you. So we're gonna try an open line jacket. This is such a good color for you too. I think you're petite and one thing is how much lapel is going on around the neckline. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanna show you how we can bring the fuss line down. So just to have that in like that, it would already be a bit cleaner. The lapels I would, wouldn't would generally wear. I feel you like wouldn't? To, no, because I feel like because I'm bigger on top, I feel like I look a bit more masculine. You know what you do? which I see you do like a nervous twitch, is you do that. Yeah. And that will reinforce your sense it's masculine because it becomes box-like. But as soon as you give it more break, then it's not that box. It's got a one piece of fabric, one piece of fabric, one piece of fabric. All right, darling, come on out. No way. I feel like I'm something from the circus. Okay, I don't like the print, the colours. I love this colour pink. It's amazing on you. Never worn that pink before. I don't know where I'd wear it, and I, it's too out there for me. I feel confident that I don't look good in this. Yeah. When I look at this, I see the print before I see Claire. So this outfit is massively out of my comfort zone. Plus, I don't think I like it. Maybe because Claire was so animated in her hatred of it, I saw Claire before the print. It's like making me nervous how, how I really don't like it. This is not the woman she is or the woman she wants to be. I want a journey today to get her to a place of embracing a style that she feels, yes, this is the new me. When she's saying, this is not where I want to go, I have to hear it. If you hide within safe clothes, then you are projecting that old you. You and your husband are on a lovely journey of yeah. making some new friends in your life. So, how would you like them to see you, you know? Confident, gorgeous, colourful, yeah. fun, yeah. Young. young, like, you know, not like a... Middle-aged, frumpy woman. Yeah, definitely exactly. not, who just puts a scarf on to make an outfit fun. I mean, I don't want to do that. Do you notice how much stronger your voice becomes when you speak with conviction? Yeah, but then it's like this self-doubt creeps in, you know, I can be all like that. Mm. And then, it's a bit like when I tried on that outfit, the colourful, flowery outfit, mm -hmm. um, I get so nervous. Then the self-doubt comes in, you know. It's just it's something, a change, and change is scary. Okay. okay. All right. Um. Did you feel you left learning something? Yes, I definitely have learned things, and I think the biggest thing is that I've stepped massively out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And I think you've got to create yes. that persona of who you want to be and let those people come in your life, Claire, because otherwise you're closing down your opportunities. And it's about being fearless, isn't it? Okay. Of course. Now we've got to be keeping that fearlessness because we're going to get into hair and makeup and skincare and everything. In the beauty studio, Claire, I'm going to give you the mirror, and I want you to look and tell me when you look at your face, what do you see? Dark circles and my eyes, um, lines on my forehead. So I think, to me, this is how much you worried in your life. Yeah. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just the emotional worry. There's a tightness sometimes here, perhaps. Yeah. That's like, you know, when things are not in control. Do you think you're slightly dominated by that worry? Yeah. And what do you do to try and release yourself from that worry? Keep busy. Talk to Andy, mm -hmm. talk to friends. I'm gonna do your skincare for you and talk to you about that mental taking care of yourself. 
and how it could be a bit different. Imagine you're in your bathroom and you're cleaning your skin. When you do that, I want you to just kind of like breathe in. Take a breath. Release it. Do it again. Take a breath in. Hold it at the top. And release it. I really feel it from you. Unfurrow the brow, unfurrow the brow. There we go, like that. Okay, so now let's look in the mirror. See? Yeah. Glowing. Glowing. And feels such a nice experience. Yeah. You're ready to look after yourself. So I want to just introduce two really fast, quick products that we can pop on your skin, okay? So one is actually a lipstick. I use it as a blusher. Sometimes I use it as an eyeshadow. It really depends on what I'm doing on the day. I kind of use Sasha more for like, life and then i use candlelight for light so i bring the two of them together okay flush it straight up onto your cheek now what you'll notice is is that candlelight kind of dilutes it so it takes away the pigment but the two colors they work so gorgeous and seamless together i also bring it across the nose you can take it up into the temples and then what i do is i get a kind of clean finger then so i kind of use it all of my fingers really you can use it kind of like a lipstick or if you want to just pet your lips for me like that, pop it out, like that, gorgeous. So you can see it's on your cheeks, pops a little bit on the bridge of the nose. Great so job, nice. on your, isn't it so fresh and yeah. so clean? It is, yeah. Hello Claire, I'm Matt, and I'm the creative master stylist here at Josh Wood, welcome. And this is Sam, who's gonna be doing your color. I'm really excited about coloring your hair today because this is going to be such an amazing example of coloring grey hair and making it look super cool and edgy. So I'm not going to say much more than that, apart from you're going to have a fabulous haircut and look 10 years younger. Let's do it. I would describe myself as a mum and a wife and brave. Next week is our 25th wedding anniversary and, you know, I'm so pleased that, you know, that, that we've been married for these 25 years. Uh, they've been fantastic. I think I've done quite a few brave things in the past. She's done so many different jobs, so many different things in her life. She'll have a go at anything if she feels it's going to be good for her and her family. I find my mum, like, she does something every day that inspires me and, like, makes me think, despite adversity and different problems, like, she still manages to achieve so much. I learned being brave probably from my mum, so something that I want my children to do. She worries in a way that um, encourages us to, you know, step out of our comfort zone and, um, like, be ourselves, be, like, comfortable in our own. I think I'm braver than I think I am. Claire has not seen herself for one second. Every mirror yeah. in the office has been covered up and it's like, oh, what's she going to think? Oh, we're excited! Yes! <laughs> Three. What would you most want from today? Um, to uh, look the best I can and feel the most confident that I can. Two. So I don't think anything in here would especially suit me at the moment. Too young. One. Sometimes I worry, Trini, now. Have I used up all my bravery? waist and long legs. Um, I look really glamorous. I look really grown up. The hair's really sexy and nice. I love the hair. Well, should we see what Andy and Joe and your friends think? Andy, what do you think? I think you look fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Really good. <laughs> I think it's amazing. Really All right, darling, so you need to make some commitments now. What are you going to say to those little voices inside your head? Be confident, be brave, just be yourself, stand out, you're lovely, got a nice body, be yourself, yeah. don't hide. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank yeah, you thanks. so much. 
challenge today was had Claire felt she got old before her time. And there was something she said earlier today. She had so many instances in her, her life where she had to be brave, had she used up all her bravery. And I felt today that she filled up the tank. She rose to every challenge and it just shows that when you put your all into it, the reward you get um, to propel yourself forward to the next stage of your life. And she has an incredibly supportive, wonderful family and friends. And I'm so excited for the rest of her life. See you next episode. Beginning, I'm gonna give you a challenge, Claire. Okay. This is the five minute challenge, are we ready? Okay, recording. <laughs> Action.